terms of the official discussions, uh, I should uh, say that uh, he um, held these with uh, President Zelensky. This happens to be their fourth meeting. They had met uh, initially in Glasgow uh, in November of 2021, uh, then in Hiroshima in May of 2023, and then most recently in Puglia in Italy in June of 2024. They've also had seven teleconversations. Uh, so uh, in the discussion, uh, uh, obviously, uh, a, a significant part of it was devoted to our bilateral relations. Uh, there was a discussion about trade, economic issues, defense, pharmaceuticals, uh, agriculture, education. There were, there were a whole lot of issues. Uh, you will see uh, much of that reflected in the joint statement, which has been released already uh, or will be, will, will be released very shortly. Uh, uh, the leaders also, uh, I must uh, share with you, tasked the Intergovernmental Commission, of which Minister Kuleba and I are the co-chairs, uh, to uh, specifically focus on uh, rebuilding our trade and economic relations, which uh, had gone down in recent times. Uh, and uh, we um, certainly uh, look forward to having uh, early meeting of that body, uh, definitely by the end of this year. Uh, now, uh, while this is the uh, first visit, uh, uh, I think you all appreciate, uh, uh, which is that uh, there have been uh, a number of public positions taken uh, by India and by the Prime Minister on this subject. Uh, uh, a little less than, little more than two years ago, he had actually publicly said that this is not an era of war. Uh, we, he had also uh, underlined that dialogue and diplomacy uh, are the key. Uh, most recently, he emphasized that the solution will not come out of the battlefield. Uh, and obviously, uh, we uh, find the civilian and humanitarian uh, toll uh, of this conflict uh, particularly uh, distressing. Uh, it's also India's view that the two sides need to engage each other uh, to find a solution. Now... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I, I uh, also uh, want to, uh, I'll, I'll come to the joint statement, but there's a particular segment in the joint statement which pertains uh, to, uh, to the conflict. Uh, so let me uh, sort of uh, uh, read that out, um, <coughs> uh, which is that uh, the Prime Minister reiterated the need for sincere and practical engagement between all stakeholders to develop innovative solutions that will have broad acceptability and contribute towards early restoration of peace. He reiterated India's willingness to contribute in all possible ways to facilitate an early return of peace. That uh, uh, we have been, uh, you know, in the past been providing uh, humanitarian assistance to uh, Ukraine. I think uh, 17 consignments so far have been delivered. These are largely uh, in the medical, uh, on the medical side. Uh, and today uh, we handed over, um, uh, we handed over the uh, Bhishma, uh, uh, let me have a look at that, where is that? Uh, this is, uh, uh, these are uh, um, cubes which contain uh, medical uh, support equipment, uh, which are uh, very effective, very compact, very deployable uh, in many ways. So uh, these cubes with a total weight of 22 tons were uh, handed over uh, today along with 10 gensets. 